uh, back over here at the shop. Got some stuff going on. Got Alex's 240 that we've been working on for a little bit. Kind of time got away from us. Uh, getting ready to go to the hardware store and get another drill bit because I guess we have generation two Q45 brakes. Holes are bigger in the caliper bracket. Uh, line still the same size, location's the same size. Actually, you get a little bit bigger uh, brake pads, so that's cool. And this old turd is gonna get some love. I'm gonna pull all this out and uh, show it some love. I'm gonna clean up all this stuff that's been cut and paint clean and make it a little more presentable the idea behind this car was uh, to basically thrash on and not care so much about but I kind of want to make it look nice it's Alex just went to O'Reilly's and they didn't have what we needed so going to Home Depot here we go Daily Drifter. <laughs> Isn't that right, Alex? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even care. <laughs> Look at that butt. So ugly. Hopefully this works. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Probably not. I'm try. I mean, people are probably looking at me like, who's a dumbass without the front bumper? <laughs> and then again, I kind of. Hit and run. I kind of just uh, fit in with everybody else around here. <laughs> yeah, it's a plus. Watch out for that Prius. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have a front bumper. <laughs> Do you think it's important? No. It's paper. So we got to drill a bit, but we didn't get bolts. So we need two more bolts. These ones are a little long. But we can shorten them. Other side. We don't have any, so. Alex is digging for a buried treasure in his <laughs> trunk. Yeah. Some great stuff back here. Yep, yep. I'm going to rip all this crap out. Clean it. Paint. Make it pretty. Er. And put it back together. better already these nasty things to the car wash gross See what happens. Yeah. Hey Alex, look, my seats are white now. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Two hands. Don't know if the car is gonna be mad at me or not, but taking all this junk out and 
cleaning all this up. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut the carpet around this. I mean, it, it was just kind of up here and it didn't look very good anyway. So, um, I'm not trying to win a partial. I just care a little bit about this car. Not like as much as I care about my 240, but I'm gonna make it presentable so it doesn't look like I don't give I don't care at all I just don't care a lot <laughs> I'll probably forget but need to make a plate to cover where the e-brake used to cable used to come through um, the cable actually broke off so I'm just gonna make it something that a something a plate about like that and just kind of put it there cover it because lots of lots of hot air and I need to go underneath and disconnect the cable so it's just not sitting on my drive shaft I uh, just pushed it back in so it hasn't been sitting on this what you interrupted my video Got some of this kind of prepped and cleaned up and made me a little piece cover up some of that. It doesn't have to be pretty, just functional. So I'm not gonna paint anything down here, just basically what the carpet doesn't cover. So here and all that. Pretty much ready for paint. Back here, don't really care so much. That's really all I care about. Care a little bit. Reloom all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint for now, and uh, hopefully get out of here soon. Getting there. So I'm gonna lay some paint and uh, see what she looks like. One coat. Looks a lot better. That's hard to tell on camera because the shadows and stuff, but definitely better for sure. Ran out of paint. I didn't get to do the back. Um, I didn't have as much as I thought I did, so. Oh, he's stealing. He's stealing. <laughs> tell you like what you're doing. Checking out the wiring harness underneath the dash, so I know what the hell to do on mine. <laughs> I'm lost. Hear that, Eli? He's not taking your engine out. Oh, where'd it go? Crazy how much difference that made. Just so much comfortable to be in. Doesn't feel like you're gonna get a disease. Really like how it turned out. I don't really like all the bolts, different colors and stuff, but I didn't really want any holes for smoke and air to come up through, so not bad. I mean, it only cost me like $10, including the car wash, so I went ahead and cleaned my door jams because they were pretty nasty as well. Seats are clean, carpet's really clean. That's painted. Made that little plate to block off uh, where the factory e-brick went. Hopefully it doesn't freak out with all the airbag stuff missing. Still gonna loom all this and uh, tuck that nice and neat up against everything. All that will get loomed. And I still got a paint back there. But it's better than it was.
my camera's about dead, so this will probably be it for me. Got a little bit done today. I'm going to kind of start doing these in series, so I'll put everything I do to the Z basically in a playlist and um, the 240 and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll eventually get into that, but right now it's just kind of a mess because we just got so much stuff going on trying to get it ready for the next drift event which is coming up in about four weeks now uh, this wasn't a necessity but it makes me feel better about everything I don't know um, the car is pretty solid we drove it today for over an hour and all the welds held up and the thrash went on a little bit and everything seemed to be okay so I would just basically change fluids on this and, and this is ready to go uh, I am gonna get an alignment and change tires but other than that that's pretty much it on this next video I, I'll do will be Alex's car we got to get some bolts uh, for the calipers which we missed out on earlier here it comes and uh, so we got to get a couple of bolts for the calipers we got the lines and, and uh, pads and all that so once that car sits on the ground motors going in it which I got to take it out of my car which initiates my next project which is the LS swap in the 240 so I'll be going over that as well I've got a sicky swap kit that I'll do an unboxing and kind of go over everything and give a little review on all that Kind of show the process of, of how that's going to go together still waiting on a few things for it clutch radiator and a shifter before i can put it in and then uh got a cam in the motor it's just a no springs required uh btr cam and uh, that's pretty much it for now until i build a motor later once i start ripping the engine out of the 240 it's game on for the ls swap so that would be sweet hopefully i'm getting better at this uh, I'm a lot more comfortable talking on a camera now. Um, like I said, just kind of an odd time. Just a whole, whole bunch of going on, and I'm going back and forth between everything. So uh, it'll get more consistent and better, I promise. I appreciate all the input I get from everybody, uh, whether it's in person or in the comments. So if you could, leave me a comment. Tell me how I can do better, what I can do to make the next video better. Um, like, subscribe, and share everything helps for sure uh, I want to keep being able to redo this and uh, every like counts so thank you uh, well I think we're about done here so I'm out of here see you next time